Beautiful people, welcome to Manners on the Go with TBC. I trust your week has been great. If you aren't feeling it yet, hang in there. Everything is going to be just fine. It's been 15 amazing episodes already on Manners on the Go with TBC. And I'd like to say thank you so much for taking this ride with me. Thank you for faithfully following our weekly broadcasts, for the views, the thumbs up, the comments, and for sharing the content with others. I am super grateful. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's a great time to do so now. It will only take a few seconds, I promise you. Nothing in life is perfect. We all do things within the workability of the context of who we are and our cultural environment. In our cultural environment, we are communal and closely needed. What one person does, especially in the community, was seen as affecting all others. Hence, people looked out for their neighbors and their neighbors' businesses. In a manner of speaking, people minded other people's businesses. For example, the children in the same neighborhood were watched to see if they were doing the right things, especially when they were outside their homes. Your neighbor's possessions were kept safe until they returned. You could even assist to take their clothes off the drying rack at the scent of rain. Were these kinds of interactions perfect or totally acceptable by everybody at all times? Far from it. However, People living within the same neighborhood always had a sense of safety, care, and accountability. Recently, I had a sad story of a 10-year-old boy who was kidnapped near his home as he went outside to get snacks for himself and his brother. These kinds of stories are common today. And when we hear them, one begins to wonder why and how nobody saw him being snatched away by unknown individuals in the same neighborhood where folks were supposed to watch out for one another. Most of our traditional values and way of living have been lost to the advent and influx of modernity that has come as an alternative to some of the downsides of our communal lifestyle. One of the negative aspects of communalism is that it neither understands nor respect the boundary of privacy of people and families. While not all people totally accept our communal lifestyle, we must withhold and harness the values in our system while adapting other forms of values to replace what no longer works. There is something called the cultural adaptation, where people adapt values from other cultures in addition to or a replacement with the ones that are less favorable to theirs. Looking out for one another in a community is a very valuable and important aspect of our traditional cultural values which shouldn't be jettisoned for the total mind your business lifestyle that is being adapted now. Caring, sharing and looking out for each other should be non-negotiable in our communities. Something we must do to make sure that people around us are safe, sane and well. Neighbors and families must look out for one another. Calling to check how everyone is doing isn't being nosy, but being caring. In case you're not able to know where the other person draws a line between nosiness and care, simply seek their permission to know if it would be all right to ask them personal questions. Beautiful people, can you agree with me that we need to care enough to look out for each other in our communities and neighborhoods? It's especially easy today with the use of technology. Send a text message, make a phone call, or send a voice note to ask how a friend, colleague, family, or neighbor are faring. Ask them if they're keeping safe and careful with the new wave of coronavirus in town. And when next you see your neighbor's children strain, a call of gentle caution to the authority figure in the child's life might be necessary our communities would be a lot safer if we looked out for one another. Simply put, our communities and children would be a lot safer if we learned to know when and how to mind other people's businesses without being nosy or meddlesome. We all need the social responsibility to be mindful of what goes on within our neighborhood. Let's return to the time it took the whole village to raise a child. See you soon. Please like, share, Make a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you.